wanted to film a quick video just to talk about how do we carry while we're in our vehicle if we're driving. A lot of us carry between the three and six o'clock position on our hip if we're right-handed, between the nine and six o'clock position if we're left-handed, whether it be inside or outside the waistband, if we uh, you know, put a seat belt on like we should when we're driving, that's gonna be uh, pretty difficult to get to uh, in any sort of time where it would actually be useful. Uh, and you also have to consider if you are uh, in a situation where something like that is happening where you need to get to your gun, chances are you're gonna be diving down to the middle to get behind some sort of semblance of cover, whether it be the engine block in front of us uh, or the A pillar or the door, um, even though they're not really the best things uh, for cover, it is something uh, a lot of people think um, you know, a, a bad guy shooting you or, or otherwise engaging you, uh, concealment can often act like cover because they think it, it's gonna stop bullets and whatnot. So, um, you know, I just wanted to uh, show that I, I've recently started carrying appendix. Uh, it's much faster, it's much easier to get to. You can conceal your draw. Uh, and you know, it's, it's in a position that doesn't immediately tell people, hey, I'm going for a gun like this movement tells people uh, exactly what you're doing. So I uh, just want to show you what I do uh, so that I can get to a gun with a seat belt on in a vehicle while I'm driving. So if we look here, you know, in a normal vehicle, um, seat belt on, and I've got my shirt tucked behind my gun. Gun is in its holster, in the belt where it ought to be. I keep the seat belt right over my belt and that way I can easily access the gun while still driving if, if need be, if I have it in gear or something. And uh, you know, obviously the best way to uh, win a gunfight is to get the hell out of a gunfight. But uh, if I have to, the gun is here. Uh, also, you know, in the instance of being pulled over, um, you know, lights on in the vehicle, both hands on the steering wheel, window down, um, announce that you're concealed carrier, and then indicate where the weapon is. Uh, is gonna make your life and the life of the officer uh, much easier. So anyway, um, just something to think about if you're somebody who carries on a regular basis, which if you carry, you should carry all the time. And uh, you know, how are you gonna get to that gun in a vehicle? Uh, without, you know, if you have some sort of other mounting method, that's excellent. Uh, my vehicle doesn't really give me a position where I can mount something uh, and have it freely accessible, but uh, this position, even if I do have to dive to the middle, I can still get the gun out. Uh, and it's immediately then ready to shoot through the door or, or whatever else uh, I may need to do with it. So anyway, uh, think about that. If you need to make some changes, uh, go ahead and do so.